Happy Friday. Well, been a long day, very busy, had a lot going on, so I had to get around to, or I didn't get around to doing the video today until late night, so I had to get out here in the dojo and uh, knock it out for you guys real fast. So just, you know, I'm going to just throw a couple quick ideas out there. And what I had on my mind today, well, first of all, let me, uh, didn't get much sleep last night because um, had a lot of festivities, family, um, uh, things going on yesterday, and so went to bed really late. Ended up not getting up and running today, but yeah, it was fine. You know, I felt like I needed the rest and everything. Had a really good leg workout yesterday. Um, macros were on point yesterday. Um, macros been really good today as well. Had a um, had a lot of carbs today, but you know it's fine. I'm I, um, starting my fast at 7 p.m. Um, it's around that time right now and I'm gonna fast until tomorrow after the workouts till about probably one or two in the afternoon then I have another uh, family get-together that I have to attend tomorrow as well um, but uh, yeah everything's going very nice so what I wanted to talk quickly about today that was on my mind is this whole idea of the 80-20 principle um, and thinking about that in a sense of your diet is an endomorph, endomorph or your lifestyle. And what I was thinking was, if you're looking at 10 days, okay, we don't want to be perfectionists. You know, we just want to perform at our best in our eating arrangements the majority of the time. So if you're eating some sort of, you know, bad food two days, every you know out of every 10 days I feel like you're doing great now this is the clincher if you're looking at that into 20% sense then that should only be 20% of your daily intake for that day so use that plan around that maybe every five days or every four days right so that fifth day every fifth day maybe you treat yourself to 80 per excuse me <laughs> man had to get that one out <laughs> Um, maybe every five days you um, stop, you know, look at your calories, look at your macros and you say, okay, you know, you eat 2000 calories. I could take 20% of that and I can have whatever I want on this fifth day. You know, now, you know, if it's going to be carbs or it's going to be sugars, we should back load those. So we should have those after our workout. So, you know, remember, we still want to keep with those same principles, but have what you want. Have some ice cream. Have a piece of cake. You know, if it fits in your macros, why not? You know, it's going to jump your insulin up, but we don't want to be perfectionists. We don't want to be so, like, you know, glued to this, you know, lifestyle so much that we don't enjoy ourselves ever. You know, and maybe you have an event coming up that's a, a someone's party. You know, maybe it's a kid's party. Maybe it's a, a, you know, a family member's party. Maybe someone's graduating from high school. Maybe you're moving or something like that and you want to enjoy some foods. You know, strategize that around the 80-20 principle. You know, use that as, you know, like your little reward for four days of, uh, you know, good, nice, clean, you know, staying within your calories eating. You know, you have to reward yourself and you can't just be so crazy about this, you know, and, and, and go cold turkey and not eat anything and, you know, 100% because, you know, that's what leads to binging. You know, you feel deprived and then you binge. It, it, that's how it works with most people. That's how it's, you know, been for me. And, and that's how it'll continue to be for those of us that um, do not, you know, uh, you know, um, manage our willpower reserves. And those of us that, you know, try and do this crazy radical approach. I've been there, done that. I've had great success with the radical approaches. I've talked about that before. But they're, but the, you know, expecting to have a great deal of longevity out of those uh, means of a uh, diet and lifestyle, it, you know, it, it's it, it, it's a pipe dream, okay? So 80-20 principle, five days on, one day you take 20% of those calories, say I'm gonna have whatever I want, I'm gonna backload those carbohydrates after my workout, you know, another, an uh, you know, go another five days, you know, you're still at 80 to 80% if you're looking at 10 days. If two days, if two days out of the t out of the next 10 days, you have a couple of meals that you would say are like a cheat food, 
but it's only 20% of your calories for that day, you're doing awesome, I think. And you will start to see the changes in your body, especially if you're training, especially if you're taking good care of yourself, and especially if you're really watching the types of car carbohydrates that you're eating as an endomorph. Happy Friday.